Hi guys, I'm back with my another video. So my name is Arnabi Mitra and I'm a power programmer at Infosys. So the topic of today's video is top 10 coding question you must prepare for cracking power programmer. So as I have um, appeared for the power programmer test and the interview and I have also connected with my colleague and uh, I just wanted to know like uh, what a, what type of question they generally frame. So as I mentioned, like there will be three uh, questions, uh, one easy, one medium, one hard. So cracking the easy question will be easy, but for the medium and hard question, uh, you must uh, prepare some uh, important topics. So I have collected some 10 questions uh, for, I guess it's, uh, these are important and if you have like uh, you know the no uh, how to solve this and you have the knowledge of uh, this question you can easily crack the power programmer exam so let's start with the first question okay so the sieve algorithm uh, i have faced uh, like in my interview and in my coding round I have seen variation of SIV algorithm. So for me, it's very important. Uh, I have collected the link of Geeks for Geeks link. So basically, SIV algorithm uh, is uh, like used when we have some number and we want to know how many prime numbers are there uh, within that range or how many non-prime number or there can be many variation of this where we need some uh, knowledge of prime number maybe they can ask you uh, uh, every number which is multi uh, which has any uh, divisor or um, for one number mark all the all its multiplier anything uh, is uh, important and uh, if you are using a sieve uh, algorithm it will be easy so if you know uh, the sieve algorithm the basics of sieve algorithm it will be easy for you to uh, like uh, apply the method and solve that question at that point of time and regarding say a sieve algorithm i have also written a blog uh, you can uh, go there and check my bl uh, blog there i have tried to explain uh, sieve algorithm in very easier way so if you are interested you can just uh, check my uh, blog here okay so the next is next permutation so it is also an important question uh, uh, mainly uh, you can expect this question in interview or uh, maybe in the question uh, uh, maybe in a medium section you can get this question so like uh, they can give you some numbers and uh, one array and they can ask you to give the next permutation like for example suppose uh, they are given one two three so uh, next permutation will be one three two uh, two three ones next permutation will be three one two and they can ask you the rank of the permutation they can ask the similar type of question using string so they can ask you variation of this problem so if you are uh, doing this problem uh, uh, you can easily do any variation of this at the time of the contest okay so next is minimum coin change uh, i was asked a variation of this uh, question in my interview so basically the minimum coin change is a very important dynamic programming question. Uh, here we will be given a supply of infinite number of coins and we need to make an amount. For example, uh, in the example you can see 30, we can use 3, uh, 10 or 125 or 15. So 2 is minimum number of coin requests and uh, you can uh, use the variation of this or maybe this kind of question they can uh, ask you not minimum but may they can also ask you how many ways you can uh, make 30. So any variation of this type of question uh, is important. Okay so next is gold mine problem. This is also an uh, important uh, problem. Basically, this is also a dynamic programming uh, problem. I have given the link of gigs for gigs. So, uh, in the question, you can see the walkers can move right, 
write up or write down and we need to give the uh, maximum amount of hold uh, and uh, you can see this kind of question where it will be given uh, in which direction one can move and they, what they need to collect and all uh, so you if you are solving this question you can like uh, solve any variation of this question next is uh, index based question so one of my uh, friend uh, were asked uh, this uh, kind of question uh, the index based question is also very uh, popular for example in this question uh, and uh, like uh, there will be an array and we need to return the uh, maximum uh, j minus i such that array of j is greater than array of i so uh, index based questions are important uh, you can expect this in a medium or uh, mainly in medium section you can expect this kind of question where you need to work on the index and obviously uh, you need to solve in uh, try, you need to solve in in log n or uh, in log n time or uh, sometimes some question can be easily solved with uh, linear time so uh, brute force method may not work at that time so you can just uh, uh, check all this index based uh, array questions and uh, prepare for the uh, exam Okay, so the next question, cutting uh, n row with minimum cost. This is a, a good heap or priority queue based question. So this kind of question uh, will be like, there will be array at every time we can choose two minimum and uh, create something and put that result into that array and we need to again choose two minimum. So uh, using priority queue, we can solve this uh, easily and they can also ask for maximum like every time we need to choose maximum or uh, maybe the question will be framed like this uh, we need to uh, understand uh, checking the uh, test cases how things are doing uh, what we need to choose so it's a very important uh, type of question and they can ask you question from priority queue so if you are solving this question uh, your knowledge with priority queue will be solved and you can like use this knowledge sometimes they may ask you to uh, find the uh, closest point or the key closest point uh, these are also application of priority queue you, you can check those things okay so next question which is also very very important that is topological sort so in uh, uh, in graph this is very important uh, to find the topological sort and uh, not for graph they may give you some uh, like uh, nothing will be nothing will be dependent uh, dependent uh, like for uh, like for example here the graph here the graph example is given you can see this given you can see zero is dependent on zero is dependent on five and four and four one is one is dependent on three and four three and four so like here if we, so like here if we like sort this thing sort this thing uh, one sort can be like five four two three one zero one can be like five four zero two three one so like this uh, they may ask you the sorted answer or they may ask you the dependency uh, or some kind of questions uh, which will be solved using topological sort and to know topological sort you may uh, you need to know dfs and bfs so and also like uh, if uh, for a thing to be uh, give a i mean uh, topological sort means it will be possible in case of that that is a direct recycling graph so there can't be a cycle cycle so they can ask you some question where you need to check if there is a cycle or not so if you are doing this question a lot of things will be clear like you can do dfs you we will learn dfs uh, you will learn how to check cycles uh, you will learn how to do a topological sort and make a dag so all your uh, topics will be cleared so this is a very important question okay so the next is minimum candy this is also one uh, mini, uh, important question and i have uh, saw this question uh, in infosys i have saw this uh, this kind of question 
so uh, this question is pretty much simple like uh, for two children which a uh, neighbor uh, if we are trying to give them candy so the one with the highest rating will get maximum and our task will be minimize the number of candies so you can check the uh, it here okay next is shortest path using bfs this is also an important like whenever we will be searching a shortest path of any undirected graph or any matrix unweighted matrix we will always use bfs so you can uh, use bfs uh, and this question may come in form of a matrix as well as form of a graph they may give you one graph or they can give you one matrix and source and destination and we need to check uh so, shortest destination they may uh, restrict like uh, they can travel in these two path uh, and like this so you can like check uh, this coding and the last uh, i have chosen this uh, gas station problem this is also an uh, important question you can expect this in easy or medium side so here like uh, there are gas uh, gas tanks and um, requirement to move from one uh, station to another station and you need to give the uh, start point you can also expect any variation of the uh, question like how much uh, extra will uh, be there or, or anything if you do this coding question uh, uh, many things will be clear from you so these are the 10 uh, question i have chosen and i believe like if you choose uh, if you solve this 10 question uh, you will be able to solve many variation of this question and uh, you will be prepared for uh, power programmer so these are the top 10 question you must prepare and uh, if you like my video you can uh, like uh, and you can also subscribe my channel for getting this kind of videos and uh, i have one telegram group uh, you can join that telegram group uh, to get all the updates uh, from uh, me and for all the videos and if you have uh, liked my video you can like share and subscribe to my channel thank you